Hey guys, it's Maxine and thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do a full head of highlights on my client here. This client actually previously goes to another one of my coworkers, but she was out, so I took her on. And yeah, the before color that we started with is very, very pretty color. So I really just had to do a full head of highlights and I always do a glaze. So if you want to see how I did this color and how I brightened up all of her blonde and toned it in the end, then definitely keep watching. So I'm starting off by mixing Matrix Light Master 20 volume because she's pretty light naturally and I put her in foils and at some point I pop her under the dryer so yeah and then I'm also going to be pulling this through to her ends a little bit so yeah 20 volume is good for her. And basically for a full head of highlights I like to take a mohawk section so I take a big section on each side of where they part their hair. And I just do a big rectangle section on the very top of the head and I twist it up really good and I put it in one of these gator clips. I literally love these clips because they hold up any amount of hair. I just love these clips. So. I'm starting my first piece at the nape of the head and I'm taking a medium weave highlight and I'm just putting it in the foil and I'm painting all of the dark. So wherever the roots are in the dark and on some of these pieces I'm dragging it down over the middle of the mid shaft maybe if some pieces are a little golder. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to be pulling the lightener through to the ends in a lot of these for pretty much most of these foils at the end. But yeah, to start off with so that she can lighten up a decent amount, I'm really just painting where her dark natural root is coming in. Also, I want to quickly mention, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, especially if you like color videos like this, because I'm definitely going to be posting a lot more of these, because I figure I'm doing these clients all the time at work anyway, so I might as well film it and post it as for an educational content on my channel. So definitely subscribe to my channel and stick around for more color videos, hairstyles videos, things like that. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to follow my Instagram. It's at Maxine Glynn, and I'm always posting hair pictures. I'm also always putting all the formulas that I use down in the description boxes of my posts. So definitely follow my Instagram at Maxine Glynn. And yeah, keep on watching my technique on how I do these highlights. If you made it this far in the video, definitely leave me a comment down below telling me if you're a hairstylist watching this and how many years experience do you have or are you a cosmetology student and you're just excited to start really getting into hair color and learning or are you just a regular person that doesn't do hair at all and these friggin' color videos are just so fun to watch because <laughs> I love watching anything random under the sun. So definitely let me know if you fell down a rabbit hole and you just landed on a color video and you don't even do color or if you do color, I would love to know how advanced you are or if you are just starting out and stuff like that. So definitely chat with me in the comments. I will be answering you. <laughs> Whenever I do the hairline, I always take a diagonal section and I do like a finer weave in the front, but the diagonal sections always help so that it comes really, really nice and natural, especially if when they're pulling their hair back, you won't ever see any weird lines in the hair, you know what I mean? So just definitely always take diagonal sections. I love doing that.
After I'm done with all of these foils, I'm gonna be popping my client underneath the dryer for a couple of minutes. I usually check them after about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And so yeah, I probably had her sit under here for 15 minutes and then I pulled the ends through, probably another 15 after that. And now I'm just going back and I'm opening all the foils and I'm just running some lightener through to the ends on all these pieces. Now this part is tedious and annoying and it's so annoying and messy to open up all the foils, but seriously, it's so worth it in the end. The final result, all this in between like, like work, it always is annoying in the moment, but it's so worth it at the end. So honestly, I'm always doing random things like this to my balayage clients or to like this client, a highlight client or creative color, corrective colors, things like that. I'm always doing in between steps because I just feel like all this hard work always pays off in the end. So yeah, as annoying and messy as this step is it's totally worth it <laughs> For the glaze, I just mixed up Matrix Color Sync 10V and Clear, and I'm just mushing this all throughout her hair on towel dried hair. And I'm going to section it a bit with my hands, a kind of like a rough section, but I'm just mushing this, shampooing this through, and yeah, it's just going to sit on for about 15 minutes. And I love watching the toners work their magic, that's literally the best. <laughs> I always say this, but the best thing about doing color is doing the final reveal with the blow dry. I love, love, love this part, and I always blow dry the very front of the hair first because I just want to see how the color turned out right away. I want to show my client. I know we're both antsy and ready to see the color, and it's just so fun to see it right away. And then the rest of the time we style it, it's just fun to like finish styling it, you know, but it's just so nice to see the color right away, and yeah, so... And now I'm just giving my client a nice light dusting. Our long haired girls love the dustings. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going around on a very blunt haircut and just giving a dusting on the whole thing. I'm even giving a dusting on any layers that she has in her hair already. This is just a nice big section that I took for the back. I just wanted to show you guys really quick the section that I'm taking since I don't have a tripod behind me, but I'm just taking the layers that she has and doing a quick dusting on any of these pieces. I feel like a little bit coming off goes a long way and it just like thickens up all of the hair and makes it look so healthy.
There's nothing like a good beach wave on freshly colored hair. And of course I wanna take nice pictures and videos. So I'm doing a nice beach wave on my client, like a nice loose curl. And I love how these curls come out, especially on her long blonde hair, it's so pretty. After I do the beach waves, I love running a serum through the hair. I just feel like it breaks up the waves and adds some nice shine on the ends. And for her, I use the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. And this is the final result. I absolutely love how it came out. I love the bright blondes and it's so pretty with the beach waves. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, especially if you want to see more color videos in the future. Hit the bell for post notifications so that you're always notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm going to try to get these videos out pretty quick because I don't want them to like build up in my camera roll. So definitely stay tuned, hit the bell and like this video. Follow me on Instagram, it's at Maxine Glynn and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Oh. Take it to me